normally on JB's man cave I talk about you know places I've been experiences sometimes social issues but I think crime has taken over Trinidad and Tobago to the extent that I think I need to address it a little bit more even though I do have videos about crime I think I wanted to make a video specifically about crime and may even make it a series so I'm going to give you some loose thoughts from a layman's perspective just as a citizen concerned about safety and crime um, I was thinking about crime and when I was a child um, you would hear about murders now and again but the murders were mostly domestic in other words you know a husband and wife had a fight maybe the you know one killed the other and so forth and it, it there was a time even that we used to call murders in Trinidad to be your Gramazon murders because it would be often that the husband would kill the wife and then digest Gramazon which is a poison and kill himself so it will end up being a murder suicide unfortunately crime has graduated from just being domestic to an everyday occurrence and criminals have got become hardened and are willing to attack anyone even those that you would least expect and sometimes the um, the these people are I would say serial criminals it's not like a one-time thing and then they stop but you know these are hardened criminals that seem to do this as a profession um, just the other day I was hearing on the news that the police were saying that some criminals have had up to 21 charges and yet still were granted bail and as soon as they are granted bail uh, they are back on the street and immediately start to commit crime and even the same kind of crime that they were granted bail for so it seems like a vicious cycle where a criminal will wake up one day commit a crime may be caught, charged, brought before the courts, released on bail and then go back and commit the same crime again. Um, this is something that just definitely needs to be addressed. I mean if you're planning to go out there and just do bad and be bad, uh, that cannot be healthy for any society. Now back to how crime was when I was a child remembering the murder rate um, I remember when we used to live in Woodbrook um, our house was broken into and things were stolen and uh, that was a feeling even as a child I felt like you know somebody trespassed on our place somebody took advantage and just that feeling alone that somebody was there that was not supposed to be there you know it made you fearful it made you think more about your safety and what was around you and that was just a break in eh? but what about those people who have had guns pulled on them or, or guns gunmen invading their homes with guns and, and cutlasses even and threatening their lives I mean that must be a really life-changing occurrence where you just don't feel like you are safe anymore I mean you, you can't get rid of a memory like that but from that time period where murders were domestic till around I would say the year 2000 somewhere around there um, there was a period in time where the US sent I would say illegal immigrants or immigrants who were Trinidadians that committed serious crimes and went jail and had to be deported back to Trinidad so we had all these criminals I mean hardened criminals coming back to Trinidad with all of their experience of um, being in jail or in prison in the US and at that time period for me murder, the murder rate started to go really high and there was at that time period too a lot of kidnappings and a lot of gangs being formed you would hear this one being um, kidnapped one day and then along with it a murder and uh, maybe a gang um, going in a revenge fight or gunfight with somebody else over somebody being killed and so on but also a lot of you know uh, wealthy people being kidnapped 
so there was a time in the country where people were really wondering what was going on and when this was going to stop just recently we had a home invasion in the West Morins area and a lady was killed and apparently she came outside and there were you know criminals that weren't supposed to be there in her yard and as she tried to save I believe her niece or nephew or one of those they they they, they shot at her and, and um, she was fortunate to have people in the house who had a gun and was able to shoot back and those criminals uh, I believe died well, one of them got away I'm not sure the whole incident I don't want to get into the details of it but the point about it is you could be in your home and just opening the door could open you up to somebody that's willing to shoot you I mean and this happened in a broad daylight and this wasn't late at night or something like that when you would expect crime to happen more no this is broad daylight and in an area where it's supposed to be relatively safe uh, but crime doesn't seem to have any kind of day or night or specific time and um, from one of the commentators I believe he was the head of the business downtown business owners association was saying there were a lot more attacks in the area so you may be thinking oh because I live in a good area I am somehow immune to crime but no it may be that you are targeted even more and a lot of these attacks seem to happen when you are entering or exiting something usually is entering or exiting your home or entering or exiting your vehicle so in this light you have to be extra vigilant when you're exiting or entering anything it, sometimes it could be entering or exiting a bank for instance or exiting the bank and you're being followed and somebody could be following you because they know you just took out money and how would they know you just took out money well you see that's that's the that's the thing with how far crime has taken over the country it's not just about the young man with a gun in his hand wearing a, a white vest and some slippers you know holding you up no that person is part of a network and they are working together in order to get something from you that is not theirs so they are willing to attack in daylight and they are willing to take whatever you have is jewelry money your car whatever have you so you could be at you could be targeted for crime in Trinidad Tobago in your own home in your car and it could also be as simple as while you're walking and one you know one of the things that is often overlooked but most criminals attack during the process of business you know in other words fraud you know trying to sell somebody something sometimes a car the car is not theirs but they're selling it to the person and the person may be getting a good price and they fall for the catch that the person is giving them oh I'm getting this vehicle at a really good price so let me take it and then they find out that the person is not even the owner and you know checks can be made so you could find out who is the valid owner of that vehicle and you know I think I think that um, I will be going into each of these topics along with my crazy driving videos um, to address crime and maybe get some people who are in authority who could give some better tips but I mean there, there is some common sense things you know I would not give money to somebody unless I know for sure they are the owner of whatever it is they're selling to me but crime doesn't necessarily have to come through a stranger either it could come from your own family and friends and one I one of the things I know Trini's like to do and, and tell me in the comments area of my YouTube channel if you disagree or you agree but Trini's love to discuss their business and sometimes they will openly talk about their family their friends their whereabouts 
and sometimes even post it on social media, taking pictures of themselves, where they were, what they did, showing off, you know. All of these things can be tracked by people who have bad intentions, unfortunately. So you really have to keep your business to yourself, especially avoid routines. So you, if you know every Tuesday you do a certain thing, that, that kind of makes you a target for somebody waiting for you to do to find you on that Tuesday that you're gonna do a certain thing you know you sometimes have to change up your routine and I know this might sound bad but sometimes you have to be suspicious of everybody and you know that may not come across as friendly but when I meet a stranger my first reaction is suspicion you know what what do you want because we are living in tricky land eh? and it, it really has to be that the person has to prove to me that they are genuine or their intentions are genuine or what it is they're coming with because most of the time I find that with strangers you just don't know what it is they're thinking about you and it, you know this is to guard your safety your safety of yourself the safety of your family and your children and in my opinion and this is just opinion sometimes the people um, that put you in a in a situation where you become the victim are your own friends and family associates work associates and so forth and if you doubt you know look at history look at Roman history and how people sold out each other in order to get something that they wanted so you have to avoid talking about your business keep your your, your, your personal um, economics to yourself you don't need to show off you don't need to tell people how much you own how much money you have what you're doing, where you went on your holidays. You know, I, I know we live in a, a, a time where people feel like they need to, sh to, to broadcast to the world, you know, how much they have and whatnot. But really, you need to think, am I broadcasting this to somebody that wants to take something from me? I think I will um, continue to talk more about this issue and go on each of these points more in a more specific way but for now I want you to make sure that you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can know anytime I'm coming out with a new video sometimes I come out with videos about travel about um, different places around the world but now and again I will drop a video about crime or about social issues that are important to us it will be good if you can socialize. I, I, may, I try to make this channel about real topics. You know, not just everything fun, everything a tourist video. I know people would love for me to focus on the beauty of our country or the Caribbean and whatnot. But, you know, I really can't feel like, you know, here I am talking about, you know, something nice to look at and yet still somebody is murdered every day. I mean, those things just don't mix. I want to talk about all the issues that surround us in our lives so make sure to subscribe and feel free to comment in the comments area about how crime has personally affected you in your life thanks a lot